the only way I can rest with this is if I believe in my heart that this hospital has followed her wishes to the extent that they have done everything that they could do for her to be cured. And, you know, if you can tell me that this is beyond hospital ability and this is in God's hands, then I will be able to accept that. But I have to believe that everything that could be done is done because those were my mother's wishes. And you haven't felt like that's been answered so far Did, with Dr. Murphy now? Uh, did, what more can we do for you for, to explain her medical situation? Well, I think if we're, you know, if we're looking at putting her through any additional pain, then I don't want to do that. But, you know, the basic things of life, food, water, antibiotics, or whatever. Antibiotics is not know, a basic thing of life. Uh, that's not something that's going to help her right now. I think she has an infection. I think that antibiotics might decrease the severity of the infection, and that will not prevent her from dying in the immediate future because of the other problems. And right. you're saying that the heart was failing. It's and either that or a large pulmonary And the lungs blood. are and failing. Mm -hmm. So there's other, there's other things that are failing. There's evidence of brain injury. So you have other things failing to where, would you, as Ms. Walt said, do you think that this is in God's hands or outside of physicians' hands? I think that we could continue to do all the things that we're doing and prolong it and not make any difference in the end. I think all we're doing is prolonging her dying. So Ms. Waller has indicated that she wants to keep her mother less comfortable. And we've talked about that, and I'm fine with that. I want to make her comfortable. So we, Mrs. Wall wants to have her mother comfortable, and you described that. But at the same time, she's not sure that the hospital has exhausted everything. So maybe we need but to what I'm saying, that. But what, what, do you, what, what do you mean by do everything? There are things that we can keep doing. Like I said, I think that we can prolong this if we keep doing them. I think we could prolong it up to a week. If and when we prolong, are we adding to our comfort or taking away from her comfort? At best, we don't know. At worst, we're making her uncomfortable. She's, you know, she can't tell us what hurts. We don't know with people like this because, by definition, they can't tell us. But we're certainly not making her any better. I mean, so you've Ms. seen Walt, how swollen she is. So, Mrs. Walt, what would you like the hospital to offer you for services to make sure that we're keeping your mother as comfortable as she can? Do you, do you need to talk to the chaplain? Do you want to talk to some other nurses? Um, what can we do for you? Well, the nurses in the ICU are very kind, and they seem to be you know, doing all that they can do. And they answer my questions when you know I have them when they arise. So I don't think the nursing staff is you know at issue here. The nurses are doing whatever they're told to do, I'm sure, and they seem to be interested in my mother's comfort, which is very helpful to me. I I'm just having a hard time accepting the fact that you know it sounds like you're giving me a choice. You're telling me. My mother can die today, or my mother can die in a week. What do you want to do, Mrs. Wall? You know, I mean, that's how this is beginning sure. to sound to me. You know, like, you make a decision now because you want your mother to die today, or if you want her to die next I week. Think, I think that, maybe, as I understand it, and uh, you know, I don't know your mom like you do, but as I understand it, and what Dr. Murphy said, is that your mom is going to pass away, and she's going to die. And so we're trying to make her comfortable because we're not able to cure her. And so we're trying to find ways to make her comfortable with you. I don't think it's a choice of when, but it's trying of how she passes. And so I think making her comfortable is kind of an important thing at this juncture. So we kind of think if we can move maybe into discussions of how you think she would want us to act while she dies. Um, I think that would be helpful to us because we don't we didn't don't know her as well as you do, and what so do one of the things. How, 
how we want to act. Do we, do we continue pouring fluids into her while she dies, or do we just let that part go? Do we continue pouring blood into her while she bleeds it out, or do we just let that go? Do we pour antibiotics into her when they know we know they can't help her, or do we just let that go? Do we just not do these things I that see. we know can't help her? So Dr. Murphy has described an aggressive procedure that you, you've heard, and then she's also talked about what we can do to take away, but to add to the comfort. And so I think adding to the comfort is important to me. I, I go along with that theory. I want her as comfortable as she can be until she takes her last breath. Okay, and we can do that through medicines, and we can also do that by decreasing the amount of fluid that goes into her lungs. And are you okay with decreasing the IV fluid or stopping it so that she doesn't become more bloated? Sure. Or get I mean, more most of the fluids that she's getting right now, she's getting through the pressors in the blood. Okay. She's getting a total of two to three hundred cc's an hour. So the uh, artificial the blood pressure pressure medicines is enough to fluid overload her. We're not getting her any additional fluids. There are no fluids to stop while we still have these pressors going. She's getting way too much fluid. And at some point, we, we would have to dialyze her to get this fluid off. Now, Ms. Swan, uh, obviously there's, in somebody who's going to die, we don't, you know, do operations and things like dialysis and those kinds of things. But what we want to know is if we decrease the fluids, do you want to also, that some of the fluids are these blood pressure medicines. They're artificially, they close down the arteries and they're keeping a blood pressure, but you're saying not enough blood pressure to get to her brain to where she can act out any thoughts or feelings, do you want to keep those medicines with her or do you, is that a decision you want to make right now? Is this what they call brain dead, kind of? Not entirely. Um. And if, I don't think, if this is something that you've never you know, thought about or something, you know, we can, I don't think that that's the immediate decision. I think stopping blood products and extra fluid and like will be more comfortable to her. If they're not helping, and if you're telling me they're not going to help, then I can accept not using them. I mean, what what is the point? And that's the feeling on the artificial blood pressure medicine. Sure. And then if her heart stops, um, it, then she's what, dead, right? That's right. Or but. What we do with people that we think we can help is we do CPR. We press on their chests and we try and force them to breathe and we try and force the blood to go through their, their blood vessels. And until you tell us not to do that, our policy is that we do it. And I think that it has no possible chance of working and potentially could cause her pain. It breaks ribs, it can puncture lungs, hearts have been punctured. And this is to put in our hands on the chest and right. those kinds of things. But if we're not giving her this blood pressure medicine, then what good is forcing the heart with the, there is no pressure, right? right? So that's not going to help anything, correct. correct? Correct. Okay. All right. No, now I, do, I do want you to understand that it's my belief that when we turn off these pressor medications, which I think we should turn off, that she will die immediately or within several hours. Can you continue? This probably sounds. Oh, hang on. Can you continue this until I can see if her sister can get here to see her while she's still alive? That we can do, yes. We're talking about four or five hours. That's fine. And her sister could be here. Okay. To have other people here. Right. Do you have family members or So that when you friends? when you stop this, you're saying she may die immediately. She may. As I understand, Dr. Murray, maybe you can help. She may pass immediately if we don't stop them. She could definitely have a... That she's so sick. She could have an arrest or anything at any time now. And so maybe, maybe a, kind of with what I've heard from you, Mrs. Wall, maybe if we put in the chart that if her heart stops, we don't do anything, but we can hold off on stopping these blood pressure medicine. Do not resuscitate orders, correct? Yes. Yeah, that would be that. Now, would you want, we could, I think it sounds like we might hurt your mom waiting for your her sister or anybody else if her heart would stop before they got here. Yes. Oh. And she may not continue to be with us at any rate. So it would be.
be okay with you if she is written that we would not do CPR on her, but to hold off on withdrawing the blood pressure medicine until her sister got here. Yes. And that's okay with you? That's fine with me. And how about with the fluid? Do you want to... Those, like I said, all the fluid that she's getting right now are in the blood pressure medication. So those yeah, will be continued blood. as long as we're continuing the blood And how about blood products? Should we, what's your recommendation on that for in the interim? I think if we don't give her blood products, she will live through the next four to five hours and probably until tomorrow. I don't think that that's going to be the critical the issue immediately. I'd like to not give her any more because it is more fluid. And we not need adding to her discomfort. Yeah. And it's a, something that could be used on other patients. Right. And would you, is that okay with you, Mrs. Swan? Yes. Is there anything that we can do for you, Mrs. Swan? I know this has been, we started out with... No, just let me go thing. call family members and see who can get here. And um, go from there. Okay. And we'll leave uh, numbers to contact us. And Dr. Murphy, are you going to be around? Later I'm here all the time. <laughs> okay. So Dr. Murphy's here as well. If you have any questions, we can... In the meantime, okay. can I see my mother? Absolutely. Of course. Okay. Thank you. I really do Thank have you, Dr. Murphy. I appreciate this chance to talk to you. Thank you, Thank you very much Thank for you your Dr. help. Murphy. Thanks.